Now let's learn about conditionally viewing the data. So for example, we have data where uh, we see customers from United States, India and Canada. Now let's say you only want to see people who belong to the United States. So if in order to do that, you use a keyword called the where keyword. Okay. And where keyword allows you to condition to, to specify the criteria. Okay. So let's, let's uh, look at an example. So first I'm going to do select star from customer. And I believe you can see the image on the screen. I cannot see that. So I want a visual representation of this data. So as you can see, uh, or as I can see, uh, we have these records and I see this country. So let's say I only want to see the data for customers who are from India. So what I can do is I can do select star from customer where, remember where is the keyword? where country equal to India. Okay. Now when I do that and I click on this, you will notice that I'm only getting information or only I can only see data that belongs to customers who live in India. Similarly, I can go here and I can type in United States and I can click on run and again now i am getting the list of customers who live in united states the final country is canada so let's do canada and if i run this then i will see a list of all the customers who live in canada now let's say you want to filter this information by customer id so in order to do that what you will do is you will say customer ID equal to one. Okay. And I'm going to run this. Now, remember when we used the country, we used single quote. So I said, select star from customer where country equal to India. Now, whenever you're using numbers, you don't have to write these numbers in quotes. Okay. This is text, therefore we have to write this or the, we have to enclose this in single quotes. So I can remove this and let's run this. And again, I can do this one, let's do five and I will see the customer whose customer ID is equal to five. Now we can also look at all the customer IDs, all the customers who have customer IDs greater than five. So it's not just an equality condition. It can be less than greater than equal to and so on. So I can do uh, customer ID greater than five and let's hit run. And I am seeing all the customers who have IDs greater than five. Similarly, I can go here. I can do less than five. So I'll only see all the customers who have IDs less than uh, less than five. There's also a command where you can see a range. So let's say if you want to see customers who fall between customer ID five and customer ID 10. So the way to do that is say between five and 10. Let's run this. And there you go. I am seeing all the customers who fall between the ranges of five and 10. Here are all different types of operators in SQL. So in the previous video, we learned about the equal to sign. We also tried the greater than less than uh, as well as between, but I highly recommend that you practice with these different operators. So we have equal to, which is the equality condition where you say customer ID is equal to one. You will see only the information of customer ID, uh, customer who, ha who has customer ID of one greater than, you know, you can say, show me all the customers where customer ID greater than one, you'll see all the customer IDs uh, who have customer IDs greater than one. This is greater than or equal to. So let's say if you say uh, select star from customers where customer ID is greater than equal to five, you will see all the customer IDs uh, that start with five and go until 16. So try these different operators, write these SQL commands. That way you feel confident in using these SQL commands. Thank you.